Hello, my name is Ari Mitchell, and this is the first in a series of two vlogs chronicling the process of putting on my senior musical at the Baltimore School for the Arts, Working. So this intro is being filmed a few months after the start of this footage, so I know how things turn out, but you don't. So let's get started. Something special we got to do was perform the opening number in BSA's biggest fundraiser, Expressions. Because we would be performing on the big ballroom stage without body mics, we wanted to bulk out the ensemble vocals by recording them in BSA's new sound studio. We definitely felt like we were doing an official America cast recording. Singing, singing. In that next week, we got fitted for our expressions costumes, most of which changed a lot from then to the show. I did get some new shoes, however, that ended up being used throughout the run. Work on the rest of the show continued. And then it was time for Expressions Tech Week. Well, for most of us, while I was off on a college audition, my ensemble had the first placement rehearsal. But I was back in time for Monday, which was perhaps the most exciting day, being that we finally got to see the whole show put together and see what the other departments had been working on. I just had to include a little bit of that. much talking to camera in this vlog so far um, but it is day three of expressions rehearsal day two for me uh, today is our first full dress run uh, but right now I am hanging out in our new and improved green room it's such a vibe space especially when you turn off the lights because we have a bunch of string lights hanging from the ceiling now we have an hour break until our call time so i'm probably going to go out and get some hot chocolate or tea but i just thought i would check in for the uh for the start of our day <laughs> the green room by myself with my chai tea latte which honestly suits me pretty well because you know when I'm gonna spend an extended period of time around people and by an extended period of time I mean it's like barely one o'clock and we're here until 6 30 um I kind of like taking some time to myself beforehand to just kind of chill and switch my mindset um so yeah see you when I'm no longer by myself So today is Sunday. It's the day of our last two shows in Expressions. We've already had two wonderful shows on Thursday and Saturday, 
And it's been really fun getting this in front of an audience, um, a little bit of a teaser for how things are going to be in May when we have a full show. Everyone from all our departments have been absolutely killing it, which is no surprise. And uh, now I'm getting ready and we're going to head out for our tout au chez, as they say. <laughs> Let's go. And for our last show, our wonderful Izzy brought in some cookies, which were absolutely delicious. That awkward moment when you go in to perform a show and come out with a bunch of fabric. Okay, so when I said that was the last expressions performance, uh, I lied because we just finished our student matinee. It's the Friday after. And uh, I think we're also relieved to be done, but uh, can't be relieved for too long because there is so much work left to do. <laughs> Hey there. So obviously I want this vlog to be light and fun and showcase all the fun stuff we get to do uh, as performers. You know, preserve happy memories for myself later down the line. But like, uh, kind of want to have a real talk moment here because, you know, putting on a show is hard. Putting on your senior show is hard. And putting on a show in uh, COVID times feels like pretty impossible sometimes. Um, so like kind of two things. One, there's definitely a COVID uh, string going around BSA right now. We have three people out with COVID and have had to run amid that and other absences and had to have some really difficult conversations about, okay, so what do we do if someone kind of inevitably gets sick? How do we move on with the show? Because it's unfair 
to us as the actors, as the director, to all our wonderful student designers to like cancel it. It's not fair to anyone. And it's scary because it feels like everything could just like come crashing down on us and no more show after all this, you know, we've been watching it happen. <sighs> we plan the way we can. We have a double cast, which is really lucky for this kind of situation. We're willing to put out scripts in hand if need be. We have to keep moving forward. Cause like, what, <laughs> what else do you do? What else can you do? On a slightly lighter front um, about being a senior and doing the show is, so it is April 26th now. Um, and our last day of school is May 6th. And our last performance um, is the weekend after our exam week. So essentially the last thing we're doing is working on this show, you know? And in a more negative way, like, I feel like I'm so stressed that it's hard to like savor or enjoy these final moments in a lot of ways. But in the same way, like, I think it's distracting me from feeling really sad about all of these like last times. You know, we spent four years here and it means a lot. And so I've had my last class I'll ever have with a lot of my acting teachers. And I like can't even think about it that way because we're thrown into rehearsal before. It's it's a regular before it's it was even like the end, you know? So so there's a dichotomy there. Good distraction, bad distraction. Ultimately, uh time doesn't stop, the show doesn't stop. Uh we keep going. And we're definitely gonna need some of that keep going attitude, because tech week starts on Thursday. And then a week after, we open a show. No matter what happens, we open a show. So I guess I'll see you then. I was like, dry my hands off. Oh, no, I feel. I don't know. All of the money making.